A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days That I Undead Legacy Mod. As you guys can see, I have made the primitive well over here. Um, in 50, no, in like, yeah, 50 seconds more or less, they're going to be a fourth water over here. So, as you guys can see, you can hold all together like 50 water. So, I just take, I'm guessing you just take a jar over here and fill up like you do with a sink. Um, also, we have our renegade on us. The SUV is put away over here. And yeah, we need to go to the desert and just start building our new place. Weightlifting, awesome. <laughs> um, I have upgraded the, the workbench to tier 2, which means we can make large steel storages. And unfortunately, at the moment, we can only make three uh, because I think we need nuts and bolts, and then after that, we're going to need steel hinges. Um, yeah, I think we can actually make one more if we add enough nuts and bolts because it's five per. Um, I'm wondering, should I do the large steel storage or not? Because at the moment, I can just I can make do with the iron ones. Um, just six alone is enough for all our stuff. So I feel like the large steel is going to be a uh, waste. Oh, how am I going to get up? Copy shape, copy rotation. Wait, what? So, and jump up. Okay. Since we are carrying the Renegade, we are a little bit slow. Guys, the Renegade can only hold like 15 gas, which isn't much. But since I can go four times further than the SUV, I'm, I'm saying that's actually kind of good. Um, yeah, what I want to do is I want to go build a new horde base, new base slash horde base in the desert. As you guys know, the game stage of here, or the loot stage rather, is just a little bit low. And I feel if we go over here and we build, the loots from Horde Knights and whatever is going to be way better. And then from here, we can ex actually explore the rest of the map as well. Um, I'm actually feeling like just driving around and exploring. Um, because now we do have the Renegade and we have a ton of gas. I'm actually going to take a barrel or two with me. almost forgot about that. Um, I want to make sure we have enough gas on us to replenish the bike whenever and whatever, ugh, just whenever we'd like. Um, I'm actually thinking, should we go to the Wasteland? Now that we have a fast bike, I don't know if it's going to be a waste going to the Wasteland now. Okay, so I'm going to grab... Let's grab two of them. This way we'll be able to just fill up all we'd like. Oh wow, I'm super heavy with this bike on me. But yeah, now all we need to do is go... I'm, I'm actually going to do this find a trader quest to the top right. Um, it's open trade routes, and that's going to be where we're going to uh, be building. So I wanted to actually build by gen. I wonder if I shouldn't still drive to gen and then drive up. Because I want to make sure that she doesn't perhaps have like a crucible or something we might be able to use. Also guys, I do want like a compound bow or a crossbow or something. But at the moment, there's so many other things that I still also want to buy that I almost never... I, I, I can't just buy a crossbow and then I'm out of cash. Already just buying that bike, we are out of cash. We can't afford anything else. And I think... Let me just Let's see what you have again. Trade. Let's trade. Okay, you have a ton of shotgun ammo that I still wanted to buy. And he has a compound crossbow. The problem is just... It's 3,500 coin for a crappy one. Are you and we just don't have a cash for it. So even though he does have a crossbow, we can't afford it at this stage. Oh, I'll do business with you as long as you're not a thief. As long as you're not a thief. Okay, so we need a crucible. I'm actually hoping for the schematic, although the crucible itself is going to be probably be, uh, very expensive to make. But if That's I can actually just get the get schematic for it, we can make our own. Um, we so far, every time we've wanted something, we've gotten the schematic. I wanted to make a chem station. Uh, instead of finding a beaker, we found the schematic. So now that I want to make crucible, hopefully we actually get the schematic first. I mean, if I can buy the actual crucible, awesome, but I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit expensive. The only problem with this, guys, is the carry capacity. Um, as you guys can see, gas 15 out of 15, that's awesome. I even put the fuel saver on, so now it's going to be even better on fuel. And cargo, 500. So the, uh, it, it can't really carry that much. I could make it 550 or perhaps even upgrade that mod to carry even more. Uh, but for now, I think this is a cool bike. Um, obviously, it's not the best of bikes, but at least we'll be able to scout a little bit more and just get to where we want to go. Um, I need to see which vehicle is nice and fast and boasts nice storage space. Oh. You haven't seen there was something on the road over there. Uh, but yeah, I need to see which one's uh, going to give us the most carry capacity and speed. The SUV gives us so much storage, but it's just very, very slow and very gas guzzling. So I need a vehicle that's nice and fast, that has a lot of space, and then we can actually use that to drive around with. 
Because now I'm using the uh, the bike to actually just go to this waste uh, to the desert, almost like wasteland. I'm using this bike to go there so we can just really build our stuff, and then when we come back, we're gonna use the SUV to take everything over to the new base. So yeah, uh, for uh, still at the moment for carrying a lot of the heavy stuff, the SUV is the best choice. Okay, this thing's handling is just a little bit unwieldy, but other than that, I'm actually enjoying the bike so far. Let me just be parked right in front of you. I want to see if I move, if I drive with my uh, keyboard, but it's not going to be easier to steer. At the moment, driving with a mouse, man, I have to drive or like turn very, very wide. Hello, traveler. So you guys, just a reminder, okay, there's a munitions chest at the back of here. Okay, so what do you have? Iron ingots, okay, cool. You have a wrench. Ooh. How much is this? 700. We definitely don't have the cash right now, but that could actually work for us. Now, the Renegade. Okay, so even you had a Renegade. Damn. Same price, more or less, so that's okay. Okay, and then you had a sedan that is 106,000. Okay, so unfortunately, it doesn't seem like she has anything really of worth for us right now. Um, let me just see. Crucible. Crucible. Since this is all, all of these categories, you can just as well just type it in there and you can actually find what you want. Okay, so she doesn't have what we need. Um, him, I think he's upstairs, right? Yep. Okay, so there's Molotovs over here, but we don't... Guys, I can make so many Molotovs right now, it's actually insane. It's I, think that, I think that's how I should transport most of my gas. Just make most of it into um, Molotovs. All I need to do is make a ton of Molotovs and we'll be able to carry all that gas from the uh, base to the new spot. Hello, 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 are you coming to greet me? Oh, I need to remember we have this as well. Why is there so many zombies over here? They all just decided to spawn. And you be careful not to get surprised by a zombie. The nice thing about the spear is it has a nice range. And this isn't even it does it doesn't even have any mods on. So if I can hit a zombie like this and make sure it bleeds, for example, I just need a bleed uh, bleeding mod. If I make sure that the zombie bleeds and then knock them down with the uh, baton, then they'll die on their own. I don't have to worry too much on those zombies. I do actually want to see if we can't explore this town a bit more. I don't think we have it all explored, right? Let me just check quickly. I know we do mostly except up there. But I'm going to have to go up here anyways to go to Trader U on that side. That's where we're going to be building anyways. Okay, so let's go. Um, This way. Ooh, vulture coming down. Yep, 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 yep. Probably just really kill this vulture before we continue. Because that is gonna get annoying fast. Boom. Okay, let's go. So I just need to keep on this road, go straight to you, and I'll see you guys there. There's actually so many cars out here that I still want to come loot. You just know most of these vehicles are gonna have loot in them. Damn, there's so many. Ooh, 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 especially... There's a vulture. Especially one like this. These ambulances have so much loot in them sometimes. Eh, it's okay. Not great, but it's okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Ooh, that was a bad miss. But you guys, this thing uh, actually picks up speed. It's very slow, but as soon as it starts picking up speed, then it's so much easier to drive. I love it. I just need to check over here whether I actually grabbed all of the munitions chests. Uh, we definitely got together. Let me just return with my keyboard. Come on, you know what? Boom. Okay, but yeah, um, last time I was here, I actually ended the episode without getting all of it. We already went down into the pit over here. And for those of you that don't know, there's a vulture. Hello. For those of you who don't know, there's actually a um, munitions chest up there. Uh, how do you get upstairs again? And be careful that that um, coyote doesn't come for us right now. I think the first munitions chest... We didn't loot everything. But yeah, there's a munitions chest around the corner over here. There's one downstairs by the trader, and there's another one also up here. But since that one's empty, I definitely got all of them. Boom, boom, boom. There's one right here. Okay, so nice. I did, in fact, get all of that. That thing's locked, so I didn't get that. Where am I going to build? I'm guessing out there. 
Also for Hoot Nights, um, actually got a, uh, someone uh, left a cool idea. Just park your uh, your vehicle inside the trader. Because Hoot Night, the zombies can't get inside, so your stuff's safe. Ooh, bookstore, army camp. See, if the army camp wasn't here, I'd actually just build straight in front of the trader. I could technically still, over here, just build in front of the trader. All I need to do is build on top of the um, asphalt over here, and we should be okay. Heat resist, cool. So the more I'm in the heat over here, the more we're going to get resistance for the heat. Let me just quickly close this down, just in case there's another coyote or something. No, I'm going to get attacked while I'm not paying attention. Okay, what do you have? Oh, okay. I could talk to any trader over here, and then it gives me that quest. Nice. Open trade route. Micro SMG. You fire... 10 more rounds. Guys, I don't know why, for the whole day today, every time I talk, it feels like my throat's closing up. So every now and then I have to pause or mute and just clear my throat like crazy. It's annoying. Okay. Okay. It almost felt, uh, feels like an allergy, but I don't have that kind of allergy as far as I'm aware. Hello, hello. Oh, oh yeah, you're empty. I uh, almost forgot that we already got out one, so let's see this. What is with all the renegades? All the traders all of a sudden have renegades. Okay, so we need what? Just the crucible, right? For now, I'm only looking for the crucible. 4x4. Four four. Um, it's worse than the SUV, but it holds more than the SUV. Okay, let's see. Before I waste time and cash, crucible. Please, please, please. Why does no one have the crucible? I need a, I need a bookstore. There's a bookstore across the road. So I actually want to try and go for that one. But we need something at the moment because I need that crucible to keep on going to make steel. If I can buy the steel ingots themselves, right, awesome. Then, but way. I need a crucible to upgrade the furnace so I can actually make steel to upgrade the other forge, the blacksmith forge. Hello. Is that doggy? The vulture right there. I need to be careful right now. I don't all of a sudden get bombed by this vulture over here. But if I can make the base right in front of the trader, it's actually going to help me a bit. I wonder if I shouldn't make it over here. If I make it right here on the, uh, this amount of tar, it will actually help. Or asphalt. I wonder how much of this is part of the pure eye. Like if I build right here in the middle, will it actually affect, uh, like if I reset over here like uh, for a quest, will it reset my base or not? Because if I can be inside town over here, there's going to be more zombies at night. Ooh, look at that tool store. I don't know this tool store. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this one. Okay, cool. So there's a, a few PRs that over here that's going to be awesome to use. But yeah, I wonder, should I just build here? It's not going to be right by the trader, but at least it's going to be close enough, right? Let me just see how many blocks is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How far can I go? Over okay, to there. Okay, so if I just mark this, this is how far or how close I could get to the trader. Hmm, I don't want to build a via because it's so close to the army camp and because I'm going to have to replace this with asphalt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could use this as a base. Hello, vulture. Oh, and I know you want to come down for me. Um, okay, let's see. So from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, it's a little bit also. I wonder, yeah, I should probably just build over here then. But the question remains then, what's too close? What's going to reset if I reset this quest? It's always going to bother me like, ooh, is my, am I going to lose my base? Am I not? Uh, what's on this side of here? I do want to build as close as possible to the town. But I need a nice big intersection where I can build without having to worry about zombies. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, you just moved. There you go. And I should probably not... Oh! Nice, double the meat. You killed this one for us. Now where's Art? Yeah. Okay, so we just got double the meat because the coyote just helped us. I wonder if I shouldn't just then build over here. It's basically the same as building over there, I think. But we'll be able to get more done. That's too close. So this is closest to the trader we can go. Um, I wonder if this is part of the trader or if it's just, no, it's not. Okay, it's just that the paint's in the way. I want to see exactly how close we can get to the trader. I think this is, we can still build over here. 
Yeah, it's it's you are white, so we can build. It's just annoying having all of this over here. Because this stuff gets in the way, so you can't properly go and build what you want to build. So what if I shouldn't just really cut away and then just get all of this stuff lifted? I want a base that's at least like 13 by 13, nice and wide. So we don't have to worry too much about stuff. Come on, Vulture, I know you're going to come for me. I think as soon as my HP drops enough, the Vulture's definitely going to bomb me. Um, Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I misplaced that one a little bit, and then I misplaced another one on one of the sides. Oh, that one over there. I need to replace that. But yeah, guys, basically what I did was I marked out 13 by 13 in the corners. Instead of using those very, very thin poles, I decided to go for the thicker ones because it's just easier to place. So the 13th block, I placed one facing inwards, and then just three more around that to make it a nice thick pillar. So basically, if a zombie comes to beat on this block over here, it needs to destroy four blocks for the side to cave in. Uh, I just decided to do this because it's such a big build. I don't want to be on ground level and filling all of this in would have been too many resources. There's a dog walking in the area. I need to be careful. Okay, so but basically what I did was the corners are four blocks going all the way around, three high. I actually want to go a little bit higher than this, but I don't know if I should go too high. I think I should actually go with stone like two high on each. And then the, the sixth block or the fifth block, we can actually make our own base. Um, let's go for high, high and then the fifth one be the base itself. Although technically I wanted to make the horde base first and then our base on top. So yeah, I want to make a sky base. So basically this is going to be the, the layout for where we're going to be standing during horde night. We're going to be facing the zombies coming from a certain direction. I wonder if I shouldn't uh, face them from over there, but they, they might get stuck over there. The reason I did this was so that zombies, if they come from that side, I can just run away all the way through and go for the stairs. Hopefully, they go for the stairs and they don't decide to destroy my pillars. But that's why I'm making so many pillars. Even these over here, as you guys can see, they're only two by two or, yeah, two by one at the moment. They're supposed to be, just like the corners, four blocks going all the way up, but I ran out of bricks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to place the stone exactly the same as I did these. I'll see if I can't start with like the level I'm going to be standing on for all night. But we need to go back to the base and make more bricks. So I might end up having to do like a tier four quest or two more at the at our current trader while we wait for bricks and stuff to crop. Because I don't think we have that many bricks to work with in the first place. Uh, but yeah, so for now I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna copy shape. Okay, the rotation's already copied. Copy rotation, and I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure this is. Uh, actually, I just wanted to go for one higher. Uh, yeah, one higher should be enough, right? Five higher. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be necessary to make it too. Hmm. If I don't make it high enough, the zombies might stand on top of each other to get to me as well. So that's something I need to keep in mind. But if they fall too much, they will start to aggro. Like if they fall from too great a height. So I think for now, this is fine. And then we'll go and do this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Boom. And then we can go for, oh, for shapes. Boom. And do this. So the moment we have the fourth level on, because th these are three high, the moment we have the fourth one on, we can go and place a block on top, and then we can go from there. Um, I want to make sure that this is ready by the next Horde Knight, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. So we'll see. I, I want to see how far we can get, because I think we ran out of big stone blocks, or the, or the large stones. So I don't think we will be able to get as far as I want to get, but we'll see. See, from over here, we can actually copy rotation without having to go down. So if I can do that... Boom, that's fast enough, and then just place these on top. This might go faster than I thought. It's, it'll be nice if I can actually do everything on the top of here without having to go down. Because, uh, except if a, if a zombie attack right now, I'll have to take them down. Did I just take damage? Um, but yeah, I need to be careful because there are coyotes and stuff walking around, and I have no idea where it is. I've been hearing one for a while now, but I just can't for the life of me spot it. Um, so I need to watch out for the vulture, and I'm just really going to put the rest of the platform in. Okay, so the platform is in. We're going to actually have to remove this soon as well because the zombies might use that. Uh, I mean, that's going to give me steel anyway, so I have to go for that. We have to still go for all the transformers and lights and stuff in this town as well, so I can't wait for that. Uh, what we should do is always carry around a few of these blocks with us. So I'm going to do that. I mean, I look when we were clearing the pole shop. We needed blocks like these. Okay, but yeah, um, this... Oh, I wonder if I should quickly... Dude... I know you're coming closer and closer and closer. 
Okay, so now what I need to decide. Um, I thought I might be able to make like the defense from this side, but I can't. The reason for that being is uh, the staircase, at least I just swap around on this side. So instead of with other base, the zombies run up from this side, we just do it on this side of here. Uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to stand right in the middle of here. I wonder if I shouldn't just move it over. It doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, if I, whether I face the horde over here or there, it doesn't matter. We can actually use this for more storage or just a hidey hole in case zombies break through. So I can actually make the defense on this side and have them run up that side still. But I don't want them running by that. The only problem is on this side is the same. This side... What I could perhaps do is face them like this and then still have them come up over there. I want to make sure that when they explode, they explode on asphalt for now. So yeah, that's something we can actually do to make sure that we have a better defense later on. Um, we can also have it on this side coming this side, but there's too much sand on this side over there. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to block the corner off. We're going to face the zombies. Okay, I need to make plates of here. But I can actually still throw molotovs and stuff down all I want. I'm going to go advanced rotation. Basically, the zombies are going to still run over here and they're going to run straight here. But I can actually do this and put in more doors so it's easier for me to hit them from all sides. I don't just have to stand there. I can also throw from this angle over here. That might actually work really well. Um, I just hope that the spider zombies don't jump through or something because knowing them, they can and they will. I think this goes three high and then the fourth one can be the roof because we are going to need to put like plates and stuff going over. And then we can do this corner and this corner and then just see how much we can actually align. Now what I should do is actually leave a door or something at the back. I wonder if I shouldn't. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four... Oh yeah, it's 13 by 13. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to put a door right there. So it's easier to get into the base from that side. We're going to do it the same on all three sides. Um, as long as the zombies can't make it up here with us, we should be fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This way we can put a door over here. We can get into a ward base quite easily. And yeah. It's going to be easier when we uh, come from any direction just to get in, except in the front over here. Um, technically, I can also just put a hatch over here so we can still use the horde defense to get in. Um, and I want to do that as well because I want to be able to see the zombies. So I want to be able to stand over here and go, oh, they are. Boom. Smack you. Um, okay, that's looking good. One, two, three, four, five. I, I didn't think we are going to run out of blocks this fast. What I might just have to do is make this my ward base slash base. <laughs> But I think I should actually put my base on top. Uh, even though it's going to take way more blocks to make, it's just going to be way safer. We don't want to have it where this place gets like explosion damage from the bottom and then we lose uh, loot and stuff. So this is just going to be my Horde Knight's defense. Um, even though, as you guys can see, there's a lot of space over here. Uh, that's just going to make sure that if something happens, we can still go up to our base. And as soon as possible, I need to make sure that all the pillars are in underneath. Otherwise, you might have a massive, massive problem there. Um... Yeah, I want to check something quickly. If I leave that there, I need to put just somewhere over here, like a plate or a quarter block or something to hold all of this weight up. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, I think it's this one over here. What I could do is just put a plate going all the way to the top, or I can go for the very thin poles, not the middle, the side one. You can go advanced rotation. This is just going to help keep everything up. We can actually do this all over this place. Uh, where are you now? There. If I put it there, the spider zombies shouldn't be able to jump through and all of this is, will still be holding up its own weight. Heck, at the moment, without the doors, um, this side is the stronger side now because I'm putting these poles in. This is just going to make sure it doesn't cave in too easily because on top of this, we can go and put more plates or in this case, I can actually go and put more of these blocks. But I think they just stick to the side's rotation uh, or block usage. Since we use plates on this side, we'll use plates on the top. Yeah, it looks very sleek now. And then also, we don't have to worry about all of this caving in because that pole is helping with the weight. But guys, we need so many more blocks. We ran out of blocks now. I mean, we have these two left, but I want to use them later. Uh, I wonder if I should try and do this bookstore quickly before we go back to the other base. If we can get some books going over here. You know what we should loot? Tool store. Let's just take our vehicle. Uh, I think if we loot the tool store, we might be able to get a crucible, if we're lucky. 
especially in this biome, if we can get that crucible, it's going to help us insanely. Um, damn, I'm stuck behind this. I'm going to have to take out these poles as well. So when I drive, it's a little bit easier. I think for now, let's go for the books first. But I definitely need to, when I come back from my other base, go for this building over here. Ooh, hello. Rusty barrel, you're empty. Ooh, I need bricks. I think I should break them as I go as well. Uh, it's going to be easier because I'm going to... I still have a few at the base. I've never touched them. I should actually go and touch them. Is that just the wind I hear or zombie sleeping? Either way, it's giving me the chills. I need to be careful in this biome. There's wolves and... Oh, not wolves. Um... Coyotes and stuff just walking and chilling all over. There's a lot of gas over here. Nice. If I can block this off, I can loot this at night. That is one gas. And it's an upright barrel, so I need to take it. Guys, we're going to need space to put all our gas in. So I need to bring gas back from our other base to this base. So the more uh, barrels we have over here, the better. I'm going to try and see if I can't clear out my big barrels, the 4x4s. Because we're going to need those bad boys. Oh, where are you guys? Hello? I'm getting on the roof, yeah. Uh, we're going to need the 4x4 barrels, or the 4 times barrels, to uh, hold all our gas. So the sooner we get those over here, the better. See, this could also be a really cool horde base. Or just base. But if I get a quest over here, then this whole place resets, and I don't want that happening. I want to make sure that before 10, we clear out all the zombies that might be over here. So we don't have to focus too much on them, and we can just get back to what we need to do. I think the sooner we get to this uh, tool floor over here, the better, because there's, there's bound to be some bricks and stuff over there as well. And if I can get enough bricks, we can finish our horde base. This is iron knuckles we don't use. Pumpkin bread. Nah. I know it might be worth it, but I don't really make those foods, so what's the point in the, uh, holding on to those schematics? Come on, come on, come on. It really gives me the creeps that there's so few zombies out here. I actually once faced the horde here and then the zombies climbed up the terrace of here somewhere. I was like, how the hell did they get up here? Where, where did they come from? I was so freaked out because I wasn't prepared for a horde to catch up to me that fast. Still here sleeping. Wait, there's definitely another zombie here somewhere, so is he in the roof? But wait, I definitely heard a sleeper just now, but I can't see a zombie. Oh, this is going to bother me. I can't. Oh, you see, they climbed this thing over here. I wasn't aware that I was there and the zombies actually made it to me so fast that horde night. Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually getting actual chills right now because I know it's close to night time. If a wandering horde comes through and I'm screwed. Oh yeah, yeah. There's bound to be a zombie or two of you. I definitely heard more sleeping. Oh, there you go. I'm hoping some of these bookcases actually have loot in them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, before it gets too late. Okay, so let's really loot this place and then we need to book it. It's a shame I didn't bring one storage with me from the other base. Because that would have been perfect for now. Come on, I need schematics that I can scrap. Iron combat knife. Um, yeah, we should probably start looking into these, right? I know we need more notes because I've been upgrading benches and stuff left and right. And I've run out of a research data again. Digging tools, we can always just up by digging so we can scrap that one. But basically, guys, um, I actually had so much research data. I upgraded a ton of stuff and great steel sword. Or steel great sword. Hmm, yeah, let's get it. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I should really start looking at stuff that I might want to use later. Just loot more and clear more if I wanted to get any extra stuff. I need to get upstairs before it's too dark. I'm actually hoping if a wandering horde comes now, scrap steel. If a wandering horde comes now, it only comes when I'm done looting the bottom at least. Because we're already eating cops and stuff, especially in this biome now. I'm guessing that the Wandering Horde also scales to the biome, doesn't it? Or does it only go off the your game stage? Either way, we need to be careful. You know what? I should actually pull up my bike. Where's my bike? Where's my bike? Where's my bike? If I can fill up my bike quickly, I can actually grab that little bit of gas over there as well. 
I don't, no, 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 no. Do this. Gas up. Do that. Do that. Probably pick up this barrel as well. But even though it's on its side, it's going to give us nice storage on this side. And like I said, guys, I, I made so much gas at the base, I forgot that I might need to move it. Now we need to empty all those um, gas barrels before we can actually move them. Which kind of sucks, but hey. We are zombies. I need to be so careful right now. We've already done inside the shop section, right? All I need to do is loot the upstairs and then grab all the resources over here and we should be fine. Also, I'm going to grab one of these to use as... Or a few of these, actually. To use as storage here so I can just drop the stuff I have on me and I don't have to take it back to the base. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep most of my stuff here anyway, so what's the point of taking it back? Maybe careful of vultures and especially the coyotes. We've actually been getting a lot of those uh, guys. Quartz bag. Yeah, but we've been getting quite a few coyotes and stuff over here, so, and some of them I just can't see. Oh, we're so close to two-shotting that. That's going to help me tremendously when, once I can. Okay, so this one over here, we haven't looted yet. Probably start picking up everything because you never know when you're going to need this or use it. And especially when I bring all my benches and stuff over, I can already bring all of them over. Because I can use my current uh, ward base setups that I have so far to just store my loot. But I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Because just now we face the ward night before then, or we stay in the other biome a little bit too long and we don't have anything on us. There's definitely a coyote over here somewhere, so I need to be careful. As long as it can't make it to me, I am relatively safe. Come on, come on, come on. I please somehow close the doors. No, I didn't. Okay, the zombie from... Because I think that leads straight downstairs, right? So easily a coyote or whatever could have made it up here with me so easily just now. We already got everything on the roof. I should probably go and get, uh, get the final stash. A box because that's gonna help me store stuff. And we can just really scrap these as well. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is just uh, grab some more storage. Um, I'm gonna go to the a uh, little bit of a base that we set up now and just put everything in those storages. And then I'm gonna go back to my old base and see if we can't make or grab more stuff. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't just grab all my storages and just merge them for now. And then later when all our stuff's here, then we can go and sort them out a bit further. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Undead Legacy fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.